Hey, Southeast Arkansas College is turning 60, and there are some big plans to celebrate. Joining me this morning are the president of the university, Dr. Stephen Bloomberg, and director of college development, Mr. Barbara Dunn. Good morning, guys. I'm glad you're here this morning. And 60 years. Now, Barbara, you've been at the university for almost two complete decades. I don't want to put too many years yeah. in this. You're like, stop it. Don't say that long. But what's it been like uh, throughout the years at Southeast Arkansas It's College? been amazing. Uh, I've had the opportunity to see the college grow mm -hmm. tremendously. Uh, we've grown from a vocational school to a college. Mm, so okay. It's been amazing. Contrast. I mean, you said you've been there for 18 years. Contrast and compare. I mean, not to put down the other school in uh -huh. town, but what's the difference between Southeast Arkansas College and UAPB? Well, it gives students the opportunity, whereas I've worked in recruitment for several years, mm -hmm. and in speaking with the students, they say, you know, I just need a opportunity or a chance, you know, coming right out of high school. Of course, a four-year university is not for everyone. Right. However, with students, they say, well, I want to start off with a two-year degree, and then from there, I can excel to a four-year. Oh, there's still some bachelor's. vocational opportunities, those still available? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Bloomberg, you've been here for a couple years now. Mm -hmm. What's it like uh, being the president of, of Southeast Art? You know what? It's, first of all, thank you for having us. Sure. Second of all, Absolutely. it's such a rewarding experience. Um, as a first-generation college student myself, in other, words, in other words, the first one in my family mm -hmm. to go to college, I understand so well the struggle that our students face and so we have a new vision statement at Southeast Arkansas College it's called empowering students and changing lives and the way we do that just as Miss Dunn said was giving students an opportunity where so many times they may not have seen that opportunity they may not thought may may not have thought they were college material or can I go to college and so the the biggest thing for me is just letting students know your pathway to success wherever that may end up starts at our college all right so the big party's coming up Saturday the big gala you could yes. say yes. is Saturday actually the uh, birthday or we're just close enough call it like horseshoes probably close <laughs> enough it's, in, it, <laughs> I agree. It's, in the, it's close to the pin yeah all right, right. all right so uh, what, what do we got planned for the big party on Saturday got a great event on Saturday evening it's our 60th anniversary gala starting at 7 p.m. food silent auction um, dancing and most importantly raising money for students and scholarships just like we were talking about mm -hmm. before one of the primary barriers to higher education is the cost and so anytime we can make the cost more affordable for students that's mm -hmm. what it's all about do you want do you want any alumni community members anybody to come on out to the party Yes, absolutely. It's open, of course, to the public. Uh, we have sponsorships mm -hmm. uh, still available, and we just we look forward to having a great. If somebody time. does want to sponsor, what can they do? How can they? Uh... Well, they can contact the Office of Development at CR College. Mm -hmm. um, also, they can reach out on our face on our website and with contact information there. Well, as well. Congratulations! Happy mm -hmm. birthday yes. to CR, everybody. Hope you have a great party coming up Saturday. Natalie's going to try to keep you a little warm. Awesome. Because yeah, <laughs> it will be getting awesome. cold again by then. Yes, fantastic. All right, we'll be right back after the break.